saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. Now let us see the word of God. What did he tell them to preach? Jeez, what is this gospel? What is the message that seems to be so exciting? Mm -hmm. Amen. That's so important <coughs> that you take all the time that you can just to tell anybody that you can, anybody that will listen. Yeah. You want to tell them about Jesus. Amen. You know, you can sit out for, for so long, amen, but I'm always sitting there listening and talking, and I'm just waiting on some way to, to lead in. And just when I listen to that, I'm, I'm trying to find something, amen, yes, to sir. change the conversation yes, and switch it to Jesus. Amen. 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 That's all I'm about. That's all I'm about. Yeah. 
around and see what the word of God says about this gospel. Luke 24. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Here is the gospel. Amen. Jesus commanded the apostles to preach. Not the part of Luke chapter 24. Christ has been crucified, risen from the dead, appeared to the disciples. Now he gives the final instruction before he was ascended into heaven, before going back to come back to start the New Testament church. Let them in the upper room. There the Bible said he asked them, do you have any meat? And they gave him fish and a honeycomb. He began to eat, and then he began to speak and instruct them. And then he began to remind them as he ate, in verse 44, read please. And he said unto them, and he said unto them, and he said unto the apostles, these are the words I speak unto you. which I spake unto you while I was yet with you. While I was still with you. That all things must be fulfilled. I told you this before I was crucified. These are the words that I spoke unto you while I was yet with you. That what? All things must be all fulfilled. Spoken in tongues. 
and the Spirit of God give utterance. Amen. And the day of Pentecost, y'all begin to speak with tongues, and the Spirit of God give utterance. Verse 12, then all that was going on, verse 12, and they were all amazed. They were all amazed. And were in doubt. And were in doubt. Saying one to another, yes. what meaneth this? What meaneth this? Others mocking, saying. Yes, you always have those kind of rhymes. Others mocking. Yeah. And listen, it doesn't matter what folks say. Yeah. Amen. When the Holy Ghost move on you, Amen. You ought to react. You ought to respond. Amen. You don't have to hold yourself together. Amen. Because of who around. Amen. 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 Only the Pentecost, they mocked it. They made fun of it. Amen. Folks do that even today. Amen. You can't be ashamed, praise the Lord, when the Holy Ghost hits you to when you say, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Amen. 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 And recall when you feel like doing a shout. What evil does it let? You know what I'm acting to try? I'm trying nothing like a fool in your presence. Amen. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. Well, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. When both of my brothers will come around, I'm not ashamed of telling praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to push with so nobody can hear me. I want to praise my God.
That's all right. I'm not ashamed Amen. of the gospel of Christ. Amen. Wherever I meet my brothers and sisters, praise the Lord. I'm not ashamed of that. Amen. 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 If I want to shake the hands and praise the Lord, and I want to grab my brother and give him an embrace, Amen. Downtown, get my folks looking. Amen. We're so concerned about what people are going to say. All right. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Church too long, I just got the Holy Ghost, and I live right down the street from the church. And one of the uh, deacons live right down the street from the church. And he was going down the street, and he was just so happy we were saved. And uh, shook his hand out of the church. He never turned it loose. So there we go, walking out the street, going home, holding hands. And you know what folks might have been thinking. <laughs>
I wasn't on the other side of the number, but I was blind. Yeah. When the Lord saved me. Amen. The Bible, they told them to repent of their sins and be baptized in water in Jesus' name. Amen. That's the gospel message for today. Amen. That's the Acts chapter 10. Amen. Preacher there, the preacher. He that believes that is baptized shall be saved. For their Pentecost, 3,000 souls were baptized in water in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Acts chapter 10. Paul Peter went to the house of Cornelius, who was a Gentile. Mm -hmm. He began to preach there to him concerning him and the crucifixion of Christ, and how God had uh, raised up Christ from the dead, and how he restored him back to life. He began to share with Cornelius' household, amen, the wonderful things of God. And listen as Peter and Paul began to preach at Cornelius' house, beginning with verse 34. Then Peter opened his mouth. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, "Of a truth, yes, I perceive that God, I is, perceive no that God is no respecter of persons. But in every nation that fears Him, among every nation that He that feared Him and worked and righteousness, and righteousness is accepted with Him. Except with Him, the word which God sent unto the children of Israel, yes, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, yes, He is Lord of all. Uh -huh. That word, yes. I say, ye know, mm -hmm. which was published throughout all Judea." And yes. began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached. Yes. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with yes. the Holy Ghost and uh -huh. with power, yes. who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, yes. for God was with him. Uh -huh. But listen, verse 39. And we are witnesses of all these things, things which he did both in the land of the Jews and in, and in Jerusalem, who they stood and hanged on a tree. But listen, him God raised him up the God third day. Raised up the third day. And showed him open. And Open. Not to all the people, yes. but to the witnesses chosen before God, uh -huh. even to us, yes. who did eat and drink with him uh -huh. after he rose from the dead. Yes. And he commanded us to preach unto the people. He commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify and to that, he, that he is he which ordained of which God. Ordained of God to be the judge of the quick and the dead. To him gave all the prophets witness. And he gave witness to all the prophets. They witness to this. That through his that name. Through his name, Jesus' name, that through his name. Whosoever believeth in him, him shall receive remission. Shall receive remission of sin. While Peter yet spake these While words. Peter just spake these words. The Holy Ghost fell on them. Which heard the word. Heard the word. Heard the word. And they of the circumcision. Yes. Which believed were astonished. Uh -huh. As many as came with Peter. Yes. Because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. How did know it was the Holy Ghost? For they heard the speaking of tongues.
Because of the gospel, we have a hope that reaches beyond the grave. Amen. Colossians 1 and 21. And you, uh-huh. and you that were sometimes alienated, that were sometimes alienated and even in your mind, in your mind by wicked work, by wicked work, yet now have you reconciled. reconciled. Read. In the body of his flesh, yes. through death, uh-huh. to present you holy, to present you holy and, unblameable, and unblameable and unreprovable and unreprovable in, in your sight. If you continue in if the faith, you continue in the faith, in the faith, grounded and settled, grounded and settled, and be not moved and away, be, listen, and be not moved away from the away hope, from the hope of the gospel, of the gospel, which you have heard, which you have heard, and which was preached, which was preached to every creature, every creature which, is heaven, which is under heaven. Wherefore I am well, a minister of this. I'm a witness. I'm a minister of this. Amen. So you can't be moved from this gospel. Amen. So this is your hope. Amen. You shall enjoy all these things. If you don't be removed from the hope of the gospel, Amen. you hear a lot of things sometimes. But listen, you can't let nobody, nothing move you from the hope of this gospel. Amen. Amen. You listen to me? Amen. I don't care what you go, I don't care who says it. It doesn't matter how many uh, degrees he has behind his name. Amen. It doesn't matter whether he's a bishop or apostle. Amen. Amen. You cannot be moved from the hope of this gospel. Amen. Amen. There's but one gospel. Amen. This is what Paul said in Galatians chapter 1. Galatians chapter 1. We begin with verse 1. Paul, an apostle, yes. not of men, uh-huh. neither by man, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father who raised him from the dead. Why does this Jew Paul keep telling people about this Jesus that God raised from the dead? Amen. Now, y'all need to be listening to me. Amen. A lot of people don't understand Romans 1089 because they don't understand why they preach so hard that God has raised Jesus from the dead. Amen. Amen. And so this is what the Jews are going to have to believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. You're going to have to get beyond this obstacle. Amen. Amen. That God has raised him from the dead. Amen. Amen. Read on. And all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia, yes. grace be unto you, uh-huh. and peace from God the Father yes. and from our Lord Jesus Christ, yes. who gave himself, who gave for, himself our sins, for our sins, that he might deliver us, that he might deliver us from his present his evil world, world, present evil world, according to the will of God, to the will of God and our Father. And our Father. To him be glory forever and ever. Yes. Amen. Verse 6. I marvel that I'm you are so I'm surprised that you're so soon removed from him. They called you to the grace of Christ. They called you to the grace of Christ. Unto another 
the power of God to save, to turn lives around. To put us in a new direction. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I'm not ashamed of this gospel. Paul oh, said, we're not handling the word of God to save them. I try to fool anybody. Amen. But if our gospel here is here to them that are lost, Amen. in whom the God of this world blinded the minds of them that believe not, let the light of the Lord's cause of Christ shine in them. God will deliver them to be simply come and believe on Him as the gospel has said. Listen, God is calling today, but there's only one gospel. There's only one way to be saved. You must repent of your sins. Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. For the mission of sin, when God promised, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. For he said the promise is to you, to your children, and all them that are far off, even as many, in the Lord our God shall come. Amen. I'm not ashamed. I'm glad to be saved. Amen. Glad to be on this holiday. And we have water today. We have clothing for men and women. Today can be the beginning of the 